today from TIAA Bankfield in Jacksonville, Florida. It's week six of the NFL on EA Sports. see Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on Zach Wilson and the New York Jets. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New York Jets and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. Let's get it on. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And right away, they're going to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so... When they're that high power, you've got to find a way to oh, hold yeah, yeah. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score, give yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And Holy Toledo, man. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And he goes out right around the 39. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So here are the Jags now set to get their first drive. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. Would you say that last week's performance by him worked? Nothing on the scoreboard, 0-0 as the offense gets ready to take over the football. They'll run on first down. It's James. The numbers for James from last week, very, very strong, well over 100 yards. He should get the ball early and often here, too. I mean, when you ride the performance of last week into this game, his confidence level has to be off the charts. Go ahead and keep feeding him. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Wilson being chased out left. And that is incomplete. I'm looking at this with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Go ahead, man. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he'll have a Jets first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Third and one, who are you going to call? Not the scat back. You go with the big man. Hand him the ball and let him get upfield and pick up a first down. On first down, it's James. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. 
of the goal, shut it down for two yards or less, that's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on 32. On the ground, it's James. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, and their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time, when you do it consistently, usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On first down, Wilson. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 15-yard line. Wilson and Moore there for a Jets first. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Touchdown. His sixth touchdown of the season, and the Jets have taken a first quarter lead. What a great drive that was. A long drive, sustained, well executed. I love what we're seeing out of him here in year two, right? Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch <laughs> time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. On second down now, it's James. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. These two teams all tied after one. On second and 12, Wilson on the move to his left. And that is caught. It's Davis. A gain there of 21 yards. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Now this throw caught left side, and they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. To throw is Wilson. Flushed out right. This one caught by Crowder. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him nine there on the first down completion. From the 16, Wilson. And he fires one incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time. And it's third and short. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now... It could be a letdown because they didn't get the end. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and 10. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Steps away. That's going to be caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. They'll try to run this one in. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. It's the fullback with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jets have taken the lead.
And that's why you have the fullback. Charles couldn't get it in the play before. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Sitting in first place in the division. They've got an open date on the calendar coming up next week. So, Charles, you and I were talking about this before the game. This one for them kind of has some extra importance. It certainly does because if they can get the win here and pad their lead a bit or at least keep pace, then they can really kick their feet up and say a job well done at this point and not have to worry about ball at all until they're back in their facility, back in their meeting room getting ready for the next game. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. They'll run on first down. James. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. A gain of six there on first. Throwing again on second down. Wilson on the slant. He's got Davis. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 35. Wilson on the hook up to Davis. First down, Jets. On first down, it's James. And a solid run down inside the 30. 74 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a 1,000-yard campaign. On second down. It's James, and he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Another six-yard carry, same as last play. First down. Throwing is Wilson. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Jets are going to take the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. Let's go, boys. Come on. We need to stop. Hopefully my defense stopped them. Jets right. offense coming up now to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles. Oh, and you can't catch the ball, you know can you? Adjustments. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. James has got it, complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Dancing to his left. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Fourth down, here's Wilson. Buying time to his left. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Jags... 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned into six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, it caused, all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's James. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He goes for 18 there. The drive will continue. And he's brought down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. Third down here. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Close game. Tough game here, boys. Very tough. I think Jets will is this good. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And he'll have a Jets first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. 95 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's a Florida native from up near Pensacola. It's Michael Carter. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll run with Carter. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. They go play action with Wilson. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And got his man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis with That's his second time. touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. Play action works. Nice move. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season... Come on, boys. we got to hold them again. Come Chats on. Chats offense coming up now to start their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. He's 
Here's James. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They'll run on first down. James had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From the 44, Wilson. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And this will get him all the way inside of Jacksonville's 10. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Now it's Wilson. And Mims has got it. Denzel Mims hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play. Jets offense coming Session up now to start their next again. drive. And they're hoping to redo minutes. their efforts of the last drive Denzel when they got to the end zone. Mims. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Wilson. Quick slant to Crowder. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 36. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Again, he's got that man, Landry. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson over the middle. That's the tight end, Landry. And they're going to speed things up here. Wilson will throw again. That's caught left side by Landry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 17, Wilson looking left side. That's caught by Landry. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now it's Wilson. That's to Davis. He's got it. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis there to make the grab. And the Jets are looking. That uh, pretty much wrapped up the game right there. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Quickly into the hands of Mims. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Now Wilson. That is caught by Mims. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Wilson now off the bootleg. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Josh Allen. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Throwing on second and long. Wilson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time. And it's third down. Here's Wilson. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. Comfort room. Makes you feel a little bit more better about the game now. Let's go, boys. Stop them here. And we didn't stop them. They scored a touchdown. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first down. It's James, and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? <laughs> Tough, hard, gritty run, <coughs> in his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. They'll keep it on the ground. It's James. And, and there's Jacksonville's first time out. Now at the 34-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good Need as they first come down. up first and 10. They run it with James. Gave a glimpse of his power, but not a whole lot of space. Down at the 30. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Uh. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Yeah, kicking out a field goal, that's all. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. Let's just watch it here. Let's watch it. Let's watch. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. Let's watch the last minute 40. This will be fielded inside the five. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. I have no control of defense whatsoever. So here now Lawrence and the Jaguars. 
Down by 13. A minute 36 to go. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. Here's Lawrence. In, and oh, it caught up, and it's scooped up by the Jets. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give me the ball back. It was needing to, having to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, it didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, match. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? I'm trying to get back into the game. There we go. They'll run on first down. James. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll keep it on the ground. It's James. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? Uh, I uh, no Neil here. You stop telling me you get a win on the road. Doesn't the matter the out. opponent. Get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Way to go, boys. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Jets, their strong strike of the year continues as they're up to 5-1. And, and they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, they can't quite seem to turn things around as they fall into 2-4 and four now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville. Good game, good game.